Sometimes you find yourself in need of recording your screen with both video and audio. I'm Aya Zaktar and today I'll be showing you how to use Soundflower to record system audio while you're doing a screen recording on Mac OS X. Let's say I wanted to grab a quick clip from a video to use in a presentation later. Vimeo has a selection of Creative Commons videos. The video we're about to show you requires attribution to be used and it's by Hadrian Genest. If you've got a modern Mac, you've got a built-in screen recorder in QuickTime 10. To start a screen recording, do a spotlight search for QuickTime Player, then click File, then New Screen Recording, and hit the Record button. You can select the whole screen or just an area of the screen to start recording. If I try a screen recording with QuickTime's built-in player, here's the result. I get a silent video. To capture the audio, it's time to use Soundflower. Soundflower is a free piece of software from Mac OS X by Cycling74. It makes your computer think Soundflower is an audio device, like your headphone jack, which means you can route all of your system audio through it. Download and install the software. Soundflower does require you to reboot your system after installation for it to work. Now what you want to do is send all of your system audio to Soundflower and it's going to feed into QuickTime Player. We'll relaunch QuickTime Player and start a new screen recording. Click the down arrow and select Soundflower 2 channel as the input. After that, launch System Preferences and go to the Sound Settings. Go to the Output tab and select the same Soundflower 2 channel option as you did in QuickTime Player. If you've got audio notifications popping up from Facebook or Skype, that audio will also be captured here, so be careful about that. Let's go back to that awesome Vimeo video. You'll see the audio meter pulsing as now QuickTime Player can hear the audio playing. Then start your recording. While this is going on, you won't be able to hear the audio to monitor what's being recorded. You'll have to change your output audio back to your original settings when you're done. Then play back the video you just recorded. And there you have it, recorded video and audio, thanks to QuickTime Player 10 and Soundflower. I'm Aya Zaktar. For more tips and tricks like this, check out howto.cnet.com.